Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India and welcome to the class. We have been doing a lot of things in class over these lectures and our past lectures and every time I tell you something new, of course today also we will learn something new, we will learn about culture, about how the Japanese behave, about how the Japanese interact in our coming lessons and lectures, but today we will do how to say politely, how to use the polite expression in Japanese and how to request people to do something. So, well before that I will as usual, as always I do the assignments with you, we will do the assignments today before we actually start with our class. So, well are you ready? All of you geared up for more Japanese? So, well, let us begin now. Hajime mashou. I desu ka? Hajime mashou ka? Hai. Ja, hajime mashou ne. The first assignment that I had given you last time was circle the correct spellings. Spellings are extremely important because in Japanese we have the long sound. So, thus we need to concentrate on spellings as well. The first one is Tanaka san wa Shizuka na kata desu. Na over here is for Shizuka, which is a na adjective. Watashi wa Shumatsu ni kuni e kaerimasu. Ni over here is for this time expression Shumatsu. Kino no yoru ame ga furi mashita. The past is for Kino. Watashi wa Tokyo ni sumitai. Tou kyo u. Please remember in English we write T O K Y O, but in Japanese it is Tokyo. It is a double sound. Nihongo class wa kuji han ni hajimarimasu. Ni over here is for time. Eki kara takushi de kaerimashita. Takushi i. Please, that is a long sound over there. Watashi wa sensei ni tokei o sashiage mashita. Sensei ni over here is for to sensei. Then we have anata wa mainichi nanji ni sampo o shimasu ka. So well, this was spellings over here. Then we have match the kanji in column A with pictures in column B. So let us see. These are the kanjis given, simple kanjis over here with some pictures for you. So, well, the first one is hon, ue, on top of this, oki, zousan wa oki desu, te, watashi no te desu, hito, miru, tanaka san wa terubi o mimasu, and kuchi. So, well, these were some of the kanji characters given. Tick the correct kanji characters from the readings given. You have to tick the kanji corresponding to the reading. So, well, this is han, kan. Kan is time period kan. Han means half. This is Tsuki meaning moon, me eyes, karada body, chichi father, hanasu to talk, yomu to read and pun is minutes. So well this was readings and kanji for you. Please try to remember these kanjis, these are important. You can do lot of games with kanjis, 
jumble them up, put them on a table, try to match kanji characters, try to match the readings. It's interesting and you learn as well. Then we have assignment 5 which is make proper questions to fit the answers given below. So, well the question is given over here, the answer is given here, read the answer first and then try to fit in the question words or whatever fits in best. Sensei wa anata ni nani o kuremashita ka? Watashi ni jishou o kuremashita. Give it to me. Kono shatsu wa Tanaka san no desu ka? Iie, Tanaka san no dewa arimasen. Ginko no soba ni nani ga arimasu ka? Hanaya ga arimasu. So, this is the answer. Hanaya ga arimasu. Kesa, dash o yomimashita ka? Iie, zashi o yomimashita. So, what should the question be over here? Kesa, shinbu no yomimashita ka? Iie, Zashi o yomimashita. Anata no ototo wa dash desu ka? Amerika ni imasu. So, what should the question be? Anata no ototo wa doko desu ka? Amerika ni imasu. Mainichi o kaasan ni dash den wa oshimasu ka? Sankai desu. So, the answer is sankai. What should be the question? Mainichi o kaasan ni Nankai den wa o shimasu ka? How many times? Sankai desu or sankai shimasu. Now fill in the blanks with appropriate verbs. Well, you have done itadaku, ageru, morau, sashi ageru. So let us see what all verbs are going to fit where. Watashi wa sensei ni den wa bango o itadaki mashita or itadai ta for plain form and ni over here is from. Tomodachi wa watashi ni takai tokei o kuremashita. Give it to me. Watashi wa rao san ni shatsu o ageta, agemashita, ageru, agemasu or moratta, morai mashita. So, this sentence over here can have any of these as the answer. Watashi wa Rao san ni shats o agemashita. I gave it to Rao san. Watashi wa Rao san ni shats o moraimashita. I received a shirt from Rao san. So, any of these can fit in over here. Okaa san wa watashi ni okane o kureta. Gave it to me. Okasan is older, so kure mashita. Watashi wa ototo ni e kamera o ageta or agemashita. Or again, you can use moratta, I received from my brother. Tanaka san wa okusan ni kirei na dores o ageta. Over here, it is only ageta because of dress. So, well, Tanaka san gave a dress to his wife. It cannot be muratta because it is a dress. So, you have to remember when to use muratta and when to use ageta. Watashi wa taro kun ni omoshiroi shats o muratta or ageta. Again, both can be used over here. Kanai wa watashi ni atarashi nektai o kureta. Again, it is nektai. Thus, kure mashita. And kanai. Watashi wa bucho ni wine o sashi ageru, ageru, itadaku. So it can be any of these. Bucho is obviously higher in rank, so sashi ageru. If you are informal, ageru, and itadaku, of course, you are receiving from bucho, then you have to say itadaku. Informal, murau. We have another assignment for you. Look at the pictures and answer the questions. This is something you have done when we did hanami. If you remember, this is called dango. 
this was a listening comprehension for you. There is one kind of dango here on the plate and there is another kind of dango which is being roasted. Dango is made out of rice, sticky rice and over here it is salty. So, well this was the passage that I had read out to you. You can read it now. The answers are given over here. New word over here for you is takegushi. Takegushi is if you look at the picture again, you have the dango stick. Dangos are put into it and roasted. Over here you can see the meaning it is given. This is the new word for you. Hanami dango is another one. Hanami dango is made when you celebrate hanami or you go watch sakura flowers. That time you make special dango that is called hanami dango. There is goma which is sesame. Sesame dango is also made. All these dangos are very special, very tasty and this was the assignment. You can go through the answers and see whether you have done them correctly or not. There is one thing which is new over here, this bone. Bone is a counter and I am going to discuss about bone very soon. We have been doing counters for quite some time now and you have done a number of counters like counting people, counting small objects, counting big objects and counting dates, counting a lot of other things. One more counter today for you that is pon or bon. This is used to count specially long cylindrical things, long cylindrical objects like bottles, logs, um, you could have pencils, you could have brushes, pens, all these long cylindrical brooms, long cylindrical objects are all counted using this counter over here. So, well, we will practice this very, very quickly and then go ahead with our lesson. You could repeat after me, Ippon, Nihon, Sambon, Yohon, Gohon, Roppon, Nanahon, Happon, Kyuhon, Juppon and of course, when you have to ask how many there are Nambon Arimaska. So, well you will see over here Ippon, Roppon, Happon and Juppon are in Pon, all the others are in Hon or Bon, Sam, Bon. So, well you will remember them slowly, gradually when to use pon and when to use hon. So, well now you will be able to count how many takegushi were there on the plate very easily. You can also practice over here hon, bon or pon for long cylindrical objects. Over here you can see some bottles, bin. So, bin wa Nambon Arimaska. Can you tell me? We just practiced hon, bon, and pon. How many? Ippon, nihon, sambon, yohon, and gohon. So we have gohon arimas. You have another picture over here. You have brushes over here. Well, fude wa nambon arimaska. So, well, let us count Ippon, Nihon, Sambon, Yohon, Gohon, Roppon, Nanahon, Happon, Kyuhon, and Juppon. So, let us see how many there are Juppon Arimas. Then we have another picture for you where you have a lot of pencils, Empitsu ga arimas ne, koko ni. Ja, Nambon Empitsu arimas ka? Ja, chotto mite mi yo. Hai. Pen to Empitsu wa. Nambon arimasu ka? How many are there? 
ইপন নিহন সামবন ইহন গহন রোপন নানাহন হাপন এন কিউহন এন্ড দিস ইস জাস্ট দ্য ক্যাপ কিউহন আরিমাস সো আই এম শিওর নাও ইউ ক্যান প্র্যাকটিস ইয়র পন বন এন্ড হন ইজিলি উইথ ইয়র পার্টনার ইউ ক্যান শো আ নাম্বার অফ থিংস লং সিলিন্ড্রিকল অবজেক্টস এন্ড ইউ ক্যান আস্ক হাউ মেনি দে আর এন্ড answer as well but please remember one thing it is very very essential that you have to count whenever you count or whenever you speak in japanese in fact always speak loudly and practice loudly what can be heard very clearly by you that is most important now today we will do te kudasai verb in te kudasai form this is requesting people to do something for you well let us see the conversation first we will listen to the conversation and then go ahead kono shosetsu yomimashita ka ie mada desu omoshiroi shosetsu desu yo yonde kudasai hai ima kaimasu rao san watashi wa okane harau kara haraonai de ne arigatou gozaimasu わかりましたか皆さん。少しぐらいは分かったでしょじゃあ今度私は読みますからよく聞いてください。山田さんとラオさんの会話です。この小説を読みましたかいいえ、まだです。面白い小説ですよ。読んでください。はい、今買います。ラオさん、私はお金払うから、払わないでね。ありがとうございます。So well, this is a simple conversation between Yamada-san and Rao-san. They are at the bookshop and Yamada says, この小説を読みましたか Have you read this book? いいえ、まだ means not yet. Omoshiroi shosetsu desu yo. It's a very interesting novel. Yonde kudasai. Please read. Hai, ima kaimasu. So he says, I'll buy it right away. Rao san, watashi wa okane harau kara. Harawanai de ne. Rao san, I'm going to pay for this book. So do not pay. So Rao san obviously will say, Arigato gozaimasu. Thank you very much. So, there are a couple of things which are new. Mada, as I told you, means not yet. Yonde kudasai. Please read. You have already done this kudasai earlier. We will discuss it right away. And then, harawanai de kudasai. So, well, we will do it right now. Now, you can, I am sure, read as we have done hiragana and katakana also you can read i'm sure you'll be able to read quite a few of this easily whatever you cannot you can look up a dictionary and see the word meaning this is a translation of what we just read it is what one would say in english now we did take kudasai just now you remember do you remember doing this word kudasai we did it in the beginning with noun o kudasai please give the noun to me for example if it's a hon hon o kudasai please give the book to me or ringo o kudasai o kudasai meaning please give the ringo to me i am going to buy it so well over here noun o kudasai now this kudasai is being used with verb kudasai verb in te form plus kudasai basically this te form is new te form actually with the help of te form 
you can say a lot of things, you can express better, you can join a lot of uh, verbs together and say what you want to say in a better way. You can convey more in short. So, thus te form is extremely essential, it is important. So, well over here you can see noun o kudasai and verb in te kudasai form. Now, what I want to do first is I want you to practice this and then I will tell you what exactly it is. Well, oyoi de kudasai, kaitte kudasai, atte kudasai, katte kudasai, migaite kudasai, hanashite kudasai. Kaite kudasai, yonde kudasai, varatte kudasai, tabete kudasai, mite kudasai, nete kudasai, akete kudasai, shimete kudasai. Shirabete kudasai, okite kudasai, dete kudasai, kangaite kudasai. So, well you will see that in this section you have te as only te plus the verb and kudasai, but over here in this column, you have I D E, T T E, I T E, N D E, S H I T E. So, you have a lot of te form over here which is different from what we have been talking about. There is a reason for it and I will just tell you what the reason is. Column 2 is group 2. So, it is very simple all verbs in E R U and I R U are in group 2 and by just removing the mass form and adding te to it, you can get the te form for group 2. For example, mi mas tabe mas, mi te tabe remove the mass form over here. It is easy to do it, thus we are doing like this, but there is also a different way of doing it. Then for group 1, there are a lot of exceptions in group 1 besides the normal group 1 verbs. All verbs ending in u and r u are in group 1. Now, what you have seen over here is i d e N D E S H I T E I T E and T T E. The verb is over here. So, well, the reason is that there are a lot of exceptions in group 1. There are a lot of verbs which end in ku, gu. Bu, su, mu, nu, two vowels and su. So, there are a lot of verbs ending in this, and thus we have all this variation over here. That is the reason you will see that there are lot of different endings over here. It looks very difficult, but it is not that difficult at all. The sound is very simple, you just get used to the sound and you start using it in conversation. So, well, we will practice and you will get to know what is he doing. The verb is kiku, kite kudasai. 
先生に聞いてください。The verb is suru. There is a denba over here and the verb is to do denba. Well, shite kudasai. And what is it? Denba o shite kudasai. Well, the next picture is kaku is writing over here. So, kaite kudasai. Namai o kaite kudasai. Then, miru. Sensei is teaching in class, is teaching kanji in class, and then mite kudasai. And kokuban o mite kudasai. Kokuban is the blackboard, kokuban o mite kudasai. Well, we can practice more now. There is more practice for you. You can see two gentlemen over here. He is giving money to Tanaka san. Well, what is it? Kashite kudasai. Okane o kashite kudasai. So, please lend me some money. Kiku, she is looking at the menu, a little worried. What do you do? Waitress ni kite kudasai. Kite kudasai. Kore wa nan desu ka? Kite kudasai. Kiku also means to listen, to hear, as you have done in your previous lessons. Kiku also means to ask. Ireru is putting it in the post. Well, irete kudasai. And posto ni irete kudasai. Then we have nomu and nonde kudasai. Kohi o nonde kudasai. So, well, now I want you to practice. Let us see whether you remember your verbs well or not. So, we have this gentleman going to the post office. Tegami o okutte kudasai. Okurimasu is to send. What do we have over here? People watching a film. So, what is watching? Watching is, can you tell me? Watching is miru. Ega o mite kudasai. Then we have shikenaru kara goji ni okite kudasai. So, well, you have a test tomorrow. Goji ni okite kudasai. Someone's just about to drink tea. Kocha o nonde kudasai. So, it is a request for for someone to do as the verb is saying. So, I am requesting you to do something for me is te kudasai or de kudasai form. This is shimbun o yonde kudasai. Another one is writing shigoto o shite kudasai or repoto o kaite kudasai. Any of these you can use or benkyo shite kudasai. Any of these you can use and practice te kudasai. Well, there is a small dialogue over here. Irashai mase, sumimasen, ano kutsu shita o misete kudasai. Dore desu ka? Asoko no akai kutsu shita desu. O kyaku sama, kore desu ka? Hai, so desu. So, I am quite sure that you would have understood all of it over here and I do not need to explain anything except irashai mase. Irashai mase is a phrase which is used when you either go to someone's house, you enter someone's house or you enter a shop meaning welcome. Irashai mase. Most of the time it is used in shops, in hotels, in restaurants, in all these places. Okyak sama. It could have been san also over here. Sama is honorific, meaning exactly the same. Okyak sama means guest or customer. 
So, well, instead of kutsushita, you can use kutsu, boshi, toke, kaban, jisho, any of this, and instead of akai, you can use shiroi, oki, kawai, chisai, and misete kudasai. Please show it to me. It is a request to show something to you. So, when you say please tabete kudasai, mite kudasai, atte kudasai, itte kudasai, swatte kudasai, nonde kudasai, matte kudasai, it means that you are requesting the person to do something for you. That is what the verb is saying. Please do this for me. That is what te kudasai means. Well, now we have this is an exercise for you. I hope you remember this picture. We did it in one of our lessons. Look at the picture carefully. Try to remember where you saw it. I have something to say about the picture. Listen to it carefully and then answer the questions that are given. So, well, yoku kite kudasai ne minasan. Watashitachi wa kono eo mai ni mimashita. Kore wa doyu mono desu ka? Sore mo benkyo shimashita. Kono e no naka no mono wa nihongo de nan to imasu ka? Sore mo class de sensei ga oshie mashita. Watashi wa mai ni oshie mashita yo ne minasan ni. Da kara mite kudasai. Kono mono wa どんな祭りに飾りますか？今わかりますね。思い出しましたか？じゃあ皆さん、今いろいろ思い出しましたから、皆さんに質問をします。頑張ってくださいね。頑張って答えてください。頑張って書いてください。いいですか？みんなで頑張りましょう。質問を読みますね。皆さん、絵の中のものは何ですか？はい、絵の中のものは人形です。絵のものはどちらのものですか？どの国のものですか？はい、日本のものです。このものはどんな祭りに飾りますか？祭りの名前を言ってください。どんな祭りですか？この間私たちはクラスで勉強しましたよね。じゃ答えてください。はい、ひな祭りです。祭りはどちらの祭りですか？もちろん日本の祭りです。日本のものですから日本の祭りです。祭りは何月にありますか？わかりますか？はい、3月にあります。祭りは何と言いますか？さっき私は言いましたから何と言いますか？ドールフェスティバルです。日本の有名なひな祭りです。じゃあね、皆さん今たくさん分かったから自分で小さな作文を書いてください。はい。どうでした皆さん。わかりましたか全部。わかりました。じゃあ頑張ってうちで書いてください。はい。ここに全部書いてありますから読んでみてください。そして質問もあります。答えもあります。はい。どうぞ。人魚、日本。ひな祭り、日本。三月とひな祭りをドールフェスティバルです。You can also look up the net and see about the doll festival, and you can write a small A very small essay, maybe ten lines, a small composition on 
Hina Matsuri. That could be your Shukudai. Then as we always do, we are going to do Katakana and the Sa series. Sa, you can see how the stroke order is 1, 2 and 3 and there is a slight slant over here. So, keep that in mind. Sa, she and with she it is very important it goes from here towards the top over here and not the other way round. It is from bottom to top. Sa, she you can see it very clearly now. Su, se and please notice the first stroke is this and the second stroke is this and not the other way round. Well, sometimes we do learn incorrect method of writing, but well you have it given right here and you can practice and learn. And then you have it all in front of you, all in one. You can see very clearly what stroke to write first. Now, we have some kanji characters over here. Some kanjis you have done, some kanjis we will do. Today, we have this kanji over here, na kanji. You know the word, you have done namai and we will do the kanji right away. 1, 2, 3, this, ca this character you have done kuchi, is not it? Do you remember doing kuchi all of you? No, like this, Okay, my drawing is very bad. Well, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. It is a 6 stroke character. Na. Namai no na. Namai is name. The first letter in Namai is the first kanji character na. Once again for you over here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. It is a 6 stroke character as is given over here. Then we have done this word soto, the opposite of naka is opposite of naka is soto, naka, naka and soto, similar character and to. It is a 5 stroke character 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 like this. Now, the word that I am going to give you, you already know the word, you have already been using that word, the word over here. Well, the word is namai as we just now did namai. Na my na my and the other word is gaikoku. Soto means outside, naka means inside. Another reading for Soto is Gai and this character if you remember we did Koku means country. So, Gai Koku, Koku, meaning foreign country, country which is outside yours. So, Gai Koku once more for you, Gai Koku, Gai Koku and of course, if you add Jin over here, 
Hito over here, it becomes Gaikoku, Jin meaning a foreigner. So, please remember these are two characters. Namai, Namai, then Gai Koku and Gai Koku Jin over here. You have foreigner over here. So, these are words that you have already done. Now, you can remember them as kanji characters. Anytime you see them, you will know how to pronounce it. And namai of course, is very, very important because anytime you need to fill a form in Japanese, the first place that you need to full, fill and to concentrate on is namai. There are some words over here, meibutsu, the meanings are given. These are just some words which you can remember, make sentences with and feel more comfortable. Meibutsu, gaikoku go. Of course, as we are doing it in India, for us Japanese is a gaikoku go, which is a foreign language. Gairai go, any Japanese word is a foreign word for us. Meijin, as you can see, is a master or an expert at something. Igai is beyond or besides and soto kabe. Soto, one reading is soto, outside, kabe is a wall. Then, we have been doing kotowaza in each lesson for quite some time now. Today, this is very interesting. A simple kotowaza over here, makeru ga kachi. Makeru means to lose, kachi means to win. When you make mistakes, it does not matter. You should not feel bad because when you make mistakes, you learn and you want to work hard and do better. So, the more mistakes you make, the better it is, the more you learn. Makeru ga kachi. Anytime you make a mistake, do not feel bad. This is when you are actually going to work very, very hard and learn more. So, please remember this kotowaza. This kotowaza is very, very important for us, for all of us here. We should not feel bad about mistakes or making mistakes. We should not feel shy. Just keep going ahead. Defeat is the first step towards victory. So, anytime remind yourself of this and things will seem better. Well, now let us see what we have next. There is vocabulary. You can do this vocabulary at home. I will just read it out once for you to get the pronunciation. You could also repeat after me. Kasu, kariru, ireru, irashaimase, meshiagaru, okiyakusan. And please remember oku yaku. The ku in the end is silent. Okiyakusan, miseru, okuru, okoru, shitsumon, and kotai. So, the meanings are given over here. You can repeat it also at home and practice. And now, my time is over, your time begins. You have to do your shukudai at home and go over the lesson. The first one is of course, as we always do, match group A with group B. Then we have these sentences for you over here. You have to join these sentences and make a single sentence out of it. There is fill in the blanks and then there is counters. Please write about these counters and try to see which counter is going to be used where. Then 
we have match group A with group B. Make good sentences, make proper sentences, they are all jumbled up and this is going to give you good practice to speak as well. That is all for today. We have done a lot of things, new things. You can practice tekudasai, you can practice numbers, you can practice uh, counters over here. You can do simple small conversation over here and rest we will do in our next lesson. Till then, arigato gozaimasu minasan, mata aimashou.